Okay, we're back again. Today I'm gonna be doing the the illuminated door sills. Right now, these are what I have. They don't light up. So what I'm gonna be putting in today, and you guys will be joining me, is these that light up. Pretty simple install. So let me put this back here. Simple install for me, and I'll show you what to do. Get some lights and stuff all set up so you can see what's going on and where I'm gonna be tapping the wires. Okay, so first things first, we're just gonna take this off. Comes off really easy with a plastic panel popper. Uh, kinda dusty down here. Probably should clean it too. Before I put the other one on, wipe it down with the microfiber. Here is it removed. And this panel, just this right up too. So what's holding it in place is these clips right here. And on this end, you can see it. These clips right here. This panel off. And just pull straight out. If you can see, but I'm also pulling this. It should probably be better if we take this off too. Held in by clips. So that just comes off like that. And we'll move on to the other steps. So now this panel should actually. So there's one more clip right here that holds that in place. And that's off. So what we're going to do is we'll, let me go get a microfiber, we'll just wipe this down really quick, get all the dirt off, the accumulator over time. Okay, so, okay, so what you do is lift this up and we're going to slide this fiber optic cabling at this area. Line it up and clip it in place. Okay, and then after, oh, you see there's a little notch right here. I don't know if you can see in the video, but it's perfectly notched for it, like they knew that was the idea. And then just tuck this in, put it into the clip area. And then we need to tap the wire. So the wire. So the wiring's back here somewhere, and that's where we're gonna have to tap all the wiring. So what you do is get your nose pliers and release that. You go like this, press it, and pull. Then it's out. What you wanna do is probably push the parking brake all the way down so you can get some room to pull this aside. Uh, in my vehicle, there's some other stuff that I hooked up, so don't mind it. Uh, like. Let me just unplug this really quick for now. So the plug we're going for is that one. So 
So I'm trying to push this tab and pull it out. It's kind of tight though. Okay, so I got it. So it's out now. This is the plug we're going to be tapping into to get the wire. Let's see what it says, which one it is. Okay, so it says it's the violet wire, which lands on. I don't know if you can see it, but the violet wire is on the corner right here. And it's pretty much this one right here. So what I'm going to do is give it some slack. I'm going to T-tap onto it. So here's the T-tap. Alright, that wire's done. And let's see what the other wire we're supposed to tap into. Okay, also we have to remove this panel to get to the other wire. Uh, there's just two Phillips screws, one here and one on that side. Panel should just come right off now. Okay. And the wiring connection we are gonna go for is right here. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is hooking up to the blue wire with the same the T-tap also, this thing. Pinch it on. Sometimes they call these vampire clips because they basically bite into the wire. Right there. Alright, so here's that little thingy with the LED inside. This one has a white LED, the USTM style one. I know there's supposedly a blue lighting one from Japan for the IS300H, the hybrid cars. So if you want blue, you can go with the JDM one, or you could actually break this apart, modify and put any LED color you want. Uh, I have another video on it too as well, if you want to see it. So blue to blue, they color coded it. And then what I'll do is I'm going to zip tie these wires into place. So basically I have it routed right here, I zip tied it along the route so it's all staying in place and doesn't get caught anything. Let's clean this up. So the last connections right here, what we'll do is, uh, this could go back into place. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll plug this back in first. And after you push the tap back in, all we have to do is do a tap right here. And then there is light. See the light? Let me turn this light off so you can see the light. See? Oh. So I'm gonna press the door. Yeah, it turns off. Alright, so that's done. And you can see the light. I'm gonna plug this in. And now it's done. I'm just gonna tuck this in here somewhere. Okay. Don't know if you can see because it's still kind of bright in here. Close the garage. Expect it to be brighter, but I guess.
All right, so let's put it back together and work on the other side now. It's all done. It's all back together. I'm gonna take these off. Alright, let's do the other side now. Alright, we'll do the same thing on this side. First, we'll start by taking this thing off. off really easily okay now we can take this thing off just like the other side again very easy all done by hand just make sure you rip at the right angle because if you rip wrong you can break these at the end and then your panel will never go back in good there's a new one We'll put these in. Again, we'll lift right about here. There's a little notch for the fiber optic cabling to pass through. Feed the wire. And just like the other side, drop it into this thing. Okay, that part's done. And then what we'll do. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll take this panel off and this panel off. Gently pull towards you. your way up. I'm just gonna leave that hanging actually. Okay so now that that side this side panel is off we'll take the bottom part off. It's really easy. Just stick your hand in here. I see four clips one two three and four and now it's done. So we're gonna be tapping I believe onto this wire for something. Okay, so now that this panel is loose, let's take this out and get it out of the way for the time being. Give us some space to work with. Don't mind all this wiring I have. I've done a lot of stuff in the car, so even I can't tell you what they are for at the moment. So the wiring we need harness again. I think it's this one right here. So what we'll do is we'll unplug it from it again. It's kind of hard to reach that release tab. So I recommend using a flathead or something to push this. Oh, this is the wrong tool. Let me go get the right tool. Small flathead. This is clip. Let me try to get a good shot of it for you guys. So you want to stick a pick or, or flathead right there and then when you're holding pressing that then you can release it up I don't know if you can see but this is right there pressing it and I'm gonna lift it up at the same time now it 
it's unplugged. Let's pull it straight out. And there it goes. It is out. And the wire we need to tap into on this side is the green wire. This one right here. Pull some slack out of it. That's a good amount. T tap again. Leave those pliers. Just pinch it on. And it's on there. And you can plug this one back in. Okay. Plug it back in and click the latch back and you'll hear it click and we're gonna plug the green wire into that and this will be routed up to this plug the blue wire the light that went under here so we'll do a p-tap right at this spot That is done, and it's lighting up. Get the zip ties on this thing. We'll wrap it up. Put all this back together and we're done. Yeah. On, off, on, off. All right, now that they're done, I turn on and off with the Door trigger. I'm holding it down right now. Unlocking. I mean, opening door. Closing door. Opening door. Closing door. Opening door. Closing door. Opening door. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, follow, or comment. Whatever you have. If you have any questions? I'll answer them. Thanks. Till next time.